hi welcome back guys today i am back with another new video in this video i will discuss with very interesting sql interview question so please watch this video at the end you learn lots of thing so let's start the video first discuss the question question is the write a sql query to find the average time each machine takes to complete a process okay so write a sql query to find the average time each machine takes to complete a process so basically i have one activity table so here you can see that so basically i have total three mach machine machine id 0 machine id 1 and machine id 2 so each machine uh, actually process two so here you can see that machine id 0 process id 0 and machine id 0 process id 0 so basically this process id first one is the start time and here you can see timestamp and machine id 0 process id 0 uh, takes to complete uh, process id 0 it take 1.520 same as for process id 0 is the process id is the one start time is there end time is there so same as process id 1 also and process id 2 also okay so i have to find the average time so my basically output is like so machine id 0 average time time would be 1.5 894 and machine id 1 and machine id 2 also so how this output will come so here you can see that for machine id uh, 0 basically uh, basically two process id process id 0 and process id 1 so how output is come show timestamp end time is the 1.520 so i have to subtract 1.520 to 0 0.712 and for process id 0 and uh, machine id 0 and process id 1 start time 4.120 minus 3.140 so i have to subtract okay uh, this uh, end time minus uh, start time end time minus start time okay then i have to minus and divided by 0 so i'll getting the average uh, takes time each machine okay to complete their process so let's start the video how we can solve this problem so i have to first run the this activity table so this one is my entire data set okay so in that case so first i have to use the lag function okay lag window function basically is the give the output so here we can see the process uh, process machine id 0 and process id 0 end time is the 1.520 i1 corresponding in the new column 0 0.712 is the start time okay so how we can solve so i have to use lag function lag and i have to use the uh, like column name what column i need i need timestamp okay timestamp and i have to use window function so i have to use over clause over and i have to use partition by Be means which partition i want so here you can see basically i have one machine id two machine id and three so basically i have total three machine id so i have to use partition by machine id partition by partition by machine machine id okay so i have to use partition by machine id and process id also okay because this one is the one uh, this one is the one partition and this one is the another partition correct so i have to use the machine id and i have to use here process id process id okay so if i run you can see what i get the output so it's showing uh, give the order by so i have to use here order by order by process id okay so if i run so here you can see that for machine id 0 process id 0 so while getting the end time this one is the timestamp and start time is a 0 0.712 because lag is the always uh, give the output is the uh, previous one so for in that uh, row i don't have previous so i'll getting the null so i again partition this one is the another partition so while this is the end time and this is the start time i don't have any before any uh, like uh, rows so i'll getting here null for same as machine id 1 and machine id 2 also okay so i have to give here name as because this one as a 0 0.712 so here we can see that so this one is the start time okay so i have to use here uh, so i have to use here start time start time okay so if i run i will get the column name as a start time so now i want to minus a timestamp minus start time so timestamp basically is the end time and this one basically is the start time 
okay so i have i need time difference so i have to use here time stamp minus this one this formula okay from this so i have to copy this one and i have to paste this and i have to keep column name as time difference time difference so if i run so i'll get here time difference so this will is the timestamp end time minus null so i'll get null so i have to consider only not null value so not null time difference so this one this one and this one this one and and last to this one okay so and i have to use here now i have to make as ct as ct as so i have to use select select star from cte okay so i need what i need i don't want this time difference is null so i have to use where time difference is not null so i don't need that uh, rows so i will remove that one so here you can see i'll get only for machine id 0 process id 0 uh, so this one is the start end time minus start time i will get the time difference okay so now what i have to do i have to do addition this one and divided by two now i have to again this addition and divided by two okay so what i have to do so first i have to use sum of this time difference okay so i have to use sum of time difference sum of time difference and i have to use over and i have to use over partition by why i have to use partition by because i have to again only this sum so this sum so here you can say i only take as a machine id so this one is the one partition this one is the another and this one is another partition so i have to use here partition by machine id and i have to keep the column name as total total time total time and i have to use uh, how many times of machine id there so i need also count also so i have to use comma count of star or you can use any numbers count star and i have to use over and i have to same partition by machine id control copy and i have to paste here and i have to give as alias as total uh, i can use process total process okay so if i run again this one so here you can see the output what i will get so so here you can see that i have to add uh, sum up uh, this timestamp this time difference so i will get the 1.788 so i have to again only count the only single rows for machine id this one i can take any one i can take this one or this one so what i need here i don't want all the thing i need only machine id I need only machine id and here total time and and total process correct so if i run i will get machine id okay so here you can see i will get the machine id one total time and total process is the two so i have to use here so i have to subtract 1.788 divided by two okay so using this i will get the this amount 1.788 so i have to use here and divided by this count function so i getting the how many count so i have to copy this one so i have to paste here i have to use here alias average time average time to process each machine so if i execute here so here you can see i will get the all uh, for the machine id 0 i will get the two uh for machine id 1 i'll get the same two values and machine id 2 also i'll get in the uh, two values so i want only one one row for machine id 0 one row for machine id 1 and one row for machine id 2 okay so here i have to use here i have to generate the row number row number row number uh, row number and i have to use over over partition partition by machine id partition by machine id machine id and order by also also machine id machine id as row number correct so if i run entire query 
so here you can see i will get the for row number one two so i need only uh, any row number either row number one or either row number two so i'll getting the distinct count okay so i have to use here final ct i have to keep name as final ct as correct so i have to use here select star from from final ct where where row number equals to one so i'll getting only uh, this one this one and this one because all are the same value so if i run so here you can see that i will get the machine id zero a total time taken and total process to an average time uh, this okay so what i need only here i need here machine id and average time take so if i run so here you can see that i will get the for machine id 0 1 and 2 average time 0 0.894 so if you want the round so i can use your average time cast cast as float and i have to give as average time uh, average time okay so if i run i will get the expected output so here you can see the machine id 0 average time machine id 1 average time and machine id 2 and this one is the average time okay so now go with the uh, like uh, second method okay select star from activity activity table okay now go up so if i run so this one is my entire data set so this one is the method two okay so this one my activity so what i need i need only machine id this one is the simple and i need only process id okay and i here i have to use case statement okay case when case when is activity type is start okay then i need timestamp as a start time correct so i have to use case when activity type equals to start okay activity type equals to start then timestamp as as start time okay so in that case activity type is the start so this one is my start time is activity type equals to when so i get this so i have to use and i have to use here end as so i have to use another case when statement case when case when activity type equals to end and then timestamp end as end time end as end time okay so if i run so what you can see what happened in that case so in that case acti uh, like uh, activity type equals to start so i'll get a start time uh, in that case i'll get a activity time activity type equals to end so i'll get this one so i have to use group by based on machine id and process id so i will i'll show you that so i have to use max or mean anything max and you can use mean also not a big issue i'll show you what is the not a big issue so in that case if i use group by as a machine id and process id so this one is the one so this one is the single group so if i run take so this one is single group in that case 0 0.712 and second one is the null i can use minimum or maximum still i will get the 0 0.712 if i use end time i will getting first one is the null second one is the 152 so if i use minimum or maximum still i will get 1.520 okay and i have to use i'll aggregation so i have to use group by so i have to use here group by group by machine id comma process id okay so if i run so you can see what happened so here you can see that for machine id 0 process id 0 this one is the start time this one is the end time for machine id 0 process id 1 this one is the start time this one is the end time okay so you in that method 2 i'll show you the outer query okay or you can say sub query so what i have to use select select from and i have to give the alias as a okay so i need here only machine id machine id id and start end time minus start time okay end time minus 
start time okay so end time this one start time this one correct and for machine id 0 and 0 so i have to take here average okay after this i will get taking average of average of this average of this start time minus end time and i have to take average time average time so here i have to use the like aggregation so i have to use here group by so i can use group by machine id group by machine id so if i run this one so here you can see so i'll getting the same answer for machine id 0 is taking average time so here i can use cast cast as float so if i run i will get the expected output for machine id 0 is taking average time 0 0.854 for machine id 1 is taking 0 0.995 and machine id 2 taken 1.456 so i hope you understand both the method please comment below which method you like or which method you prefer if you visit this channel first time please subscribe this channel if you still have doubt please comment on the below we'll meet again goodbye